Today we are doing pump overs and the materials you're going to need are a rolling bin and metal screen, three two inch gasket and clamps, four three inch gasket and clamps, two three inch to two inch reducers, bungee cords, one 45 degree elbow, and one three inch extension. Also, two two inch hoses. And lastly, you're going to need a positive displacement pump. To start, you'll need one three inch gasket and clamp. You'll also need a 190 degree elbow that'll be attached to your racking belt. Then you'll roll out your metal bin and screen and attach your extension using another 3 inch gasket and clamp. Now you're going to grab one end of the two inch hose and connect it to your metal bin and screen using a two inch gasket and clamp. Make sure it's tight so you don't lose any product. That's what it should look like so far. Now take a 3 inch gasket and clamp and attach your reducer to the inlet part of the pump. And then get the other end of your two inch hose that's already attached to the metal bin and connect it to your reducer using a two inch gasket and clamp. And then you'll need to repeat this process with another hose reducer and clamps on the outlet side of the pump. Take your bungee cords and the other end of your two inch hose that's attached to the outlet side of the pump and safely take that end of the hose to the top of the tank. You may need someone's help for this part.
Once you have your hose at the top of the tank, you want to make sure that the end of the hose is inside the opening. And fasten your hose onto the rail using bungee cords. Sometimes it may take two, but make sure it's tight. For safety measures, you will need to inspect the pump's cord for any breakage. Now you're going to safely line up your plug into your power source. Now you're all set and ready to start your pump over. Go ahead and turn on your pump Open your valve and happy pump over.